good afternoon to your parents, families, friends, staff, and of course to our beloved students if you're watching, greetings. My name is Dr. Jeremy Tigerman, and I am the director of Tigerman Schools. I'm coming to you today from my office in school. Today's date is Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. This video today is the next portion of our series of informative communi communications called the State of the Union. Throughout this entire pandemic, I've repeated to all of you that we are not perfect, but we will do everything in our power to eventually get it right. All of you watching are very important parts of our team. And if you have feedback on your child's learning experience, or if you have suggestions for our task force teams regarding our health and safety protocols, please never hesitate to reach out to your building principal or to us at social at tigerman.org. On to our updates. Parents, just a reminder, the last day of school for all Tigerman programs is Friday, June 25th, 2021. With the exception of our universal pre-kindergarten students, all Tigerman students will return for instruction for the summer session. Summer session dates for all Tigerman buildings and school programs are uniform this year, and will start on Tuesday, July 6th, and run through Friday, August 13th. COVID-19 school report card. As a reminder, Tigerman schools are required to report daily to the New York State Department of Health. This information can be found daily on their website under the COVID-19 report card section. Our schools can be found under the private school section, and then you will have to go to your child's specific Tigerman building to see our COVID related data since the beginning of September. Recently, you should have received a notification on an important update to our mask policy from your building administration team. This was prompted by an update on mask guidance from Gov Governor Cuomo. Based on this guidance, Tigerman will continue to require that masks be worn inside all of our school buildings through the end of the school year and into the 2021 summer session until further notice. As of this past Monday, June 14th, 2021, mask wearing during outdoor activities is no longer required of students and staff, regardless of vaccination status please look out for communications from your building administration teams as this new development will certainly impact outdoor end of the year activities, most specifically graduations. Tigerman family, we understand that, that, that there may be students, families or staff that may still not be comfortable with this change. And we fully support your decision to continue wearing a mask outdoors. We ask that everyone be respectful of each other's decision regarding the use of masks while on school grounds. Families, should you have any questions or concerns regarding this policy change, please feel free to contact your building principal at your convenience. On to summer and fall instructional programming. For this summer 2021, as we recently alerted you, no guidance has been communicated to Tigerman or to our friends in the educational community regarding recommendations for instructional programming for the summer session 2021. That is just a reminder, Tuesday, July 6th through Friday, August 13th. This means that unless we are mandated to change our present instructional models, and they are full-time in-person and full-time remote, prior to the start of the summer session 2021, which at this point in time seems highly unlikely, your child will continue to receive instruction based on what he or she is presently receiving. 2021-2022 school year. At this point in time, no guidance has been communicated to Tigerman regarding recommendations for instructional programming for the 21-22 school year. However, we believe that there will be a push to encourage all students in our state to return to full time in person by September. Again, we will do whatever is best for our students as well as what the guidance dictates from the state education department and from the Department of Health. 
but we need to start getting a sense of where our families stand regarding a return to in-person instruction in September. A survey will be sent home in the beginning of July requesting your choice of instruction in person or remote for your child for September. Families, a couple of points to keep in mind. First, if we do not hear from you, your child will be assigned to the in-person instruction group. Second, even if you select the remote instruction option, it may not be an option as we get closer to the set September as guidance may change relating to allowable types of instruction schools can offer. As always, we will keep you informed and alert you of any updates as soon as we know anything. Visitor policy. As I mentioned to you in my last update, Tegerman School Buildings will be relieving some restrictions to visitors effective July 1st, 2021. While we will be relieving some visitor restrictions, certain requirements will be necessary in order to gain access to our school buildings. First, visitors will not be admitted without prior authorization from building administration. It is important that you check with your building principal before coming to your child's school building. In addition, upon arrival, you will need to submit a completed Tegerman Health Attestation form, as well as wear a mask for the entirety of your visit. Please do not hesitate to reach out to your child's building principal should you have any questions or concerns. On to vaccines. As of today, 72% of Glen Cove preschool elementary staff have started or completed the vaccine series. 61% of Glen Cove middle school staff have started or completed the vaccine series. 66% of Richmond Hill high school staff have started or completed the vaccine series. And 65% of Tegerman School at Woodside staff have started or completed the vaccine series. Well done staff. Tegerman families, as the COVID-19 vaccines have become available for school age children, we would like to keep track of any Tegerman students who receive the vaccine. Currently, COVID-19 vaccines are approved for children 12 years of age and older. If your child has received one or both of the COVID-19 vaccinations, please forward a copy or a picture of their vaccine card to your child's building nurse. Vaccine alone will not solely defeat the pandemic, but with the cooperation of all of us following public health guidelines, we can ensure that all of our buildings will remain as safe as possible and that we remain in person for instruction. Should you have any questions or want information on the vaccine, please feel free to reach out to your child's building nurse. Finally, this time last year, we were all still reeling from the beginning of the pandemic and wondering if life would ever return to normal. Well, while we are still not fully back to the way we were prior to the pandemic, we have come a long way. We were able to accomplish extraordinary things this year by working together listening to each other, and by doing a lot. I mean, I'll say that again, by doing a lot of planning. This summer, your child's school building and its staff will be working very hard to ensure that we are all ready to provide the instruction they need and deserve in September. Like last summer, administration will, will be working with stakeholders, that is staff, students, and families to review our reopening plans and revise them based on the most up-to-date guidance from the State Education Department and from the New York State Department of Health. Once our plans are ready to review, principals will be forwarding them to you and will set up a Zoom meeting to go over the plans and answer any questions you may have prior to the start of the school year in September. On to our announcements from our development department. For all those who are interested, Please save the date for our golf outing on August 5th at Engineers Country Club. Enjoy a beautiful day of great golf on one of Long Island's most stunning Gold Coast golf courses with a new classic cocktail after party. We are extending a special invitation to all of our alumni and families to our cocktail party. For more details, visit tegerman.org backslash golf. We are currently looking for volunteers 
and committee members for the golf outing and for the fall food and wine. If you are interested in volunteering for one or both of these events, please contact Jamae Crowder at 516-609-6230 or at events at tigerman.org. Lastly, Monday, June 21st is Tigerman Giving Day. It's a 24-hour giving initiative focused on enhancing Tigerman and providing opportunities and transformative learning experiences to our students. We are asking all alumni, students, faculty, staff, parents, and friends to visit tigerman.org backslash giving day and make an online gift in order to support Tigerman. Be sure to encourage your friends and family to give and show your Tigerman pride by posting to your social media using hashtag Tigerman Giving Day and letting us know why you give. And remember, this is your Tigerman and together we are Tigerman Tough. Now on to some announcements from our school buildings. From our preschool elementary school principal, Mrs. Karen Katzman, UPK, Graduation is this Thursday, June 17th. That's tomorrow. Preschool graduation for preschool classes one, two, three, four, and five is June 21st with a rain date of the 22nd if necessary. School age graduation for our fifth grade students is Wednesday the 23rd with a rain date on the 24th if necessary. And she wants us to remind you, wants, uh, wants me to remind you that summer session begins on July 6th. From our middle school principal, Mrs. Kristen Lyons, eighth grade graduations on Tuesday, June 22nd at 10 a.m. for homeroom three. Tuesday, June 22nd at 1.30 p.m. for homeroom four. And Wednesday, June 23rd at 10 a.m. for all remote eighth grade students. From a high school principal, Mrs. Lauren Leonardi, New York State Regents examinations will be taking place between June 17th and June 24th. June 17th will be Marvel Superhero Day. Monday, June 21st is graduation. Tuesday, June 22nd is the graduation party. Wednesday, June 23rd, the senior picnic. And on Friday, June 25th, it's the seniors versus staff handball and kickball game. Very exciting. From our principal at Tigerman at Woodside, Mrs. Nina DeVita. Mrs. Nina DeVita wants me to alert you that New York State grade three through eight testing has been completed. Wonderful job all. New York State Regents testing begins this upcoming week. Tigerman School at, Woods Tigerman School at Woodside has its first ever graduating students and we will be holding a graduation farewell parade for our first two 12th grade students. All of the students will be participating in graduation festivities for their 12th grade graduates. And the last day of school is June 25th. Individual homerooms are planning their own end of the year celebrations. With all of these graduations taking place, Dr. T, Dr. Rad and I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you and your parents on this extraordinary achievement. These past 15 months have been unlike any we have ever experienced. Despite having to wear face masks and navigating virtual learning for the first time, you worked very hard and made a great deal of progress in completing your courses and your examinations. Your parents and teachers have worked with you to complete your education and prepare you for the next step in life. You need to be proud of yourselves, but keep in mind that you've had the support of parents and teachers who've been part of this long process. Tigerman has provided you with an extremely rigorous program that has helped to shape you to meet your future challenges. You have had a wonderful opportunity to develop your creative skills at Tigerman, and we are very proud to share this special moment with all of you. We are very proud of all of your hard work, and we expect great things from all of you. Congratulations, graduates, bravo. Lastly, newsflash. As I am recording this communication, Governor Cuomo has just announced a lifting of COVID-19 restrictions across our state. 
as we always do, we will carefully review the guidance and follow the directives for our schools accordingly. As soon as we know anything firm and or decide to make changes to our health and safety protocols, we will alert you immediately. Parents, families, friends, staff, and students, it was wonderful reconnecting with you today, and we will continue to do this throughout the course of the school year. As I regularly remind you here, Dr. T, Dr. Red, and I want to communicate our pride in the way we have all stepped up to the challenges faced today, and know that no matter what we face going forward, we can accomplish anything that comes our way if we stay together and stay Tigerman tough. To our, all our dads out there, happy Father's Day. And to all our families, have a happy Juneteenth. Have a great weekend. Take care.